Hey guys, it's Janixa and welcome to another nail lacquer therapy session. Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the Morgan Taylor Fall 2023 collection. This collection is called Change of Pace. It consists of six polishes and Morgan Taylor did send these to me in PR to review for you. So thank you very much to Morgan Taylor for sending these my way. Like I said, six polishes to look at, so let's go ahead and get right into the swatches. First up, we have Lost My Terrain of Thought, and this one is described as a khaki green cream. I see this one as chart chartreuse. I mean, this is like a really good Shrek color. So you guys know that I like this one because if you've seen any of my videos, you know how I love these kinds of greens. And this one has an excellent formula. This is a one coater, you guys. Completely opaque in one coat. Of course, I did a second coat because I always do. But yeah, this is completely, completely opaque in one coat. The formula is absolutely amazing, which is typical Morgan Taylor formula. Their formulas are usually really really good and easy to work with and they have a beautiful wide paddle brush so it just makes it even better next up we have sappy but sweet and this is described as a fuchsia berry cream nail color and this isn't a cream this is like a, a metallic so i'm not sure why that cream description is there but it has a really creamy formula so maybe that's what they were going for the formula is beautiful perfect to work with it is pretty much completely opaque in one coat also but i did two and yeah it's just a really pretty polish it's nothing unique though we've seen colors like this quite a bit and even from morgan taylor so that's why i'm kind of like okay Come on now, Morgan Taylor, give us something a little bit more fun because we've seen colors like this from you already quite a bit. Speaking of colors we've seen from Morgan Taylor quite a bit, here we have Stay Off the Trail and this one is described as a soft taupe. Beautiful color, excellent formula, but I just feel like in every other collection we're getting a color like this from Morgan Taylor. So I'm not too excited about this one, even though, like I said, formula is amazing. If you don't have a color like this in your collection, this would be a beautiful, beautiful one to add to your collection because the formula is really good and easy to work with. It's almost completely opaque in one coat. So yeah, overall, this one has a great formula, but as far as just, you know, we've been seeing it quite a bit from Morgan Taylor. Yeah, that, that's how I'm feeling. Next up, we've got Golden Hour Glow, and this one is not yellow. This is orange, and Morgan Taylor is describing it as a golden yellow pearl nail color. I feel like golden orange or just gold or bronze would have made more sense because this isn't yellow to me this is orange and it is a pearlized finish so eh, this one definitely is not my favorite of the collection this is the one that i thought was gonna be a beautiful fall mustard yellow and i was really looking forward to it because i missed it in the orly collection and i missed it in the se collection but no instead we get an orangey pearl so not excited about this one unfortunately Next up is Do Me A Favor, and this is described as an ivory pearl nail color. So this one has shimmer running throughout, and because of that shimmer, it really doesn't look like a pearl polish at all. So just seeing this one and applying it without reading the description, I wouldn't have thought pearl. The formula is very good, easy to work with. It's a little streaky on the first coat, so you definitely need a second. And if your nails are long on the long side or you have a prominent nail line, you might end up needing a third. Um, my nails are kind of short right now, so two coats was good. This one's beautiful. I love it. It does remind me more of winter, though, so I feel like it's kind of odd in a fall collection, but it's still gorgeous and probably my favorite of the collection. Last but not least, we have All Good in the Woods, and this is described as a cedar brown cream. This one also has some shimmer running throughout, so it's really pretty. It's not quite a one-coater, but almost um, two coats reaches full opacity beautifully. Um, again, really nice formula. These polishes are available 
on beyondpolish.com for purchase and you can get them there cheaper than you can you know at a store and you can also use my code nlt10 to save 10 percent and that is an affiliate code it just helps me put money back into my channel so thank you very much if you use it i will have all that information in the description box below for you and here we have the morgan taylor change of pace collection there you have it guys swatches of the morgan taylor change of pace collection for fall 2023 what did you guys think of these um i'm kind of torn i don't hate them but i don't love them either i think my favorite is do me a favor the white with this shimmer running throughout this one is gorgeous but i feel like this one is also more of a winter polish but I mean, I'm okay with it. I really, really like this one. So if I have to choose a favorite for this collection, it's this one. Although this one had an amazing formula. I mean, this was pretty much a one coater. So I really do like both of these. Overall, this collection isn't bad. It's just, it's just not a standout. I think that's the best way to say it. It's not a standout when you compare it to OPI or Lee, even Essie. It's just not quite a standout collection. The polishes individually perform very, very well. They are very beautiful. So individually, polishes are excellent. But as a collection, I, I kind of found it quite boring, to be honest. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this collection. Do you agree with me? Do you think it's a little bit on the boring side or did you absolutely love it? I would love to hear your thoughts on this collection. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.